When I started in the program, uh, being in that very first election, we had our first uh, interview. It was all sort of uh, confidential, and uh, we got there and we heard that uh, that they were looking for putting people into space. You know, they started out with uh, thinking about something else. They thought that uh, maybe stuntmen would be the kind of person to be astronauts uh, because they were used to doing unusual things. Then someone got to the fact that, look at how about double amputees because we don't need the, the weight of legs. They're not used in space anyway. And, uh, and funny was President Eisenhower that suggested uh, military test pilots, they had security clearances and they were used to taking risks. So we had this speech that they were going to put men into this can, which came out to be the Mercury, and they're going to put it on top of an Atlas booster that was being developed. And at the time that this discussion was going on, Atlas boosters were blowing up every other day down at uh, here at Cape Canaveral. It wasn't a case of, hey, boy, this is the greatest thing in the world. Let's get on it. Everybody was saying, this is, might ruin my military career here. Getting, <laughs> but my my history, you know, going through as a military aviator, as a test pilot, this was an extension of what I always wanted to do. As a matter of fact, I studied rockets in high school and then took my term paper at the Naval Academy on the development of the liquid fuel rocket engine. And so to me, this was the way I wanted to go. Mm -hmm.